President Trump vowing to send as many troops, quote, as necessary to stop caravan of thousands marching toward the United States if they reach the southern border. The president also blasting Democrats for the problem. Do you know how the caravan started? I think the Democrats had something to do with it. And now they're saying, I think we made a big mistake. That is an assault on our country. That's an assault. And in that caravan, you have some very bad people. You have some very bad people. And we can't let that happen to our country. Trump also not backing down after saying terrorists and gang members may be among the migrants. I spoke with Border Patrol this morning. And I spoke to him last evening, and I spoke to him the day before. I speak to him all the time. And they say, and you know this as well as anybody, over the course of the year, over the course of a number of years, they've intercepted many people from the Middle East. They've intercepted ISIS. They've intercepted all sorts of people. They've intercepted wonderful people from the Middle East, and they've intercepted bad ones. They've intercepted wonderful people from South America. President Trump continuing to ask, answer questions from the media. I did want to play this one more soundbite um, from uh, just something you're just not going to believe about what was said about our military. Watch this. If you put military down there, we know what the God forbid is in this situation. And then how does it play? How is that good for anybody if, because, you know, you're not going to turn away thousands and thousands of people, even if people start getting shot. And what message does that send? Who wins in that? It did surprise me a little bit that he would say that because our military is not known for going after innocent people. They are there to try to protect the border. So anyway, we'll start with you, Greg, on this issue, the caravan, and not stopping. He's not very bright, is that Cuomo fella? <laughs> well... That was not a nice thing to say. It wasn't. It wasn't a nice thing to say. No, it wasn't. I just wonder about the media because they, they, they tend not to ask the very specific questions like, how did the caravan start? Who called it a caravan? How is the event being managed? Who are the people managing it? Um, they always keep saying that the caravan is blooming, like it's some kind of natural event but and it's actually or, or that it's spontaneous but no it's actually quite organized uh it's organized by uh actually mexican advocacy groups and then when you get to the sizable group of people in which you can't tell who's in the group and who isn't which is why you need a process because it could be there could be terrorists and obviously there could not be terrorists but who's gonna know so the media then takes the narrative and they twist it. So after helping the onslaught multiply, right, they accuse Trump of seizing it, seizing it as an issue when beforehand it was the media and the adv advocacy groups who had seized on this spectacle to begin with to create an ugly political issue. And then they go, but look what Trump is doing. They're a bunch of hypocrites. And you know what's even sadder? Avenetti is telling the Democrats to grow a spine. When Michael Avenetti becomes your voice of reason for your party, you're in trouble. Yeah, that's, uh, talking about that in terms of the media coverage, um, some media critics saying that um, that the media should not take President Trump's words and use them so that onslaught was too strong, that they think that maybe that there's some softer language that should be used because they're doing his bidding. It's like the mob controversy. Yes, Don't exactly call it a caravan, it's a parade. That's what they're probably <laughs> going to say. To Greg's point about the media, they've reported breathlessly about how many scoops of ice cream this president has. Mm -hmm. And they're not even curious about how this caravan is happening. Right now, I think the only people that have sent reporters down to embed in the caravan, Fox News, we have Sarah Carter down there. And William Lajeunesse. And William Lajeunesse as well. The Washington Post has someone down there. And Judicial Watch even has someone down there. There's just not a lot of interest in the mainstream media. So when Trump says something about the caravan, there's no way for them to fact check it. They're going to assume that the president is saying incorrect things. And some of the reporting coming out of there, very interesting. 80% of those people in the migrant caravan are males under the age of 35. And they're not fleeing violence. These are economic refugees. And you know what they told the Washington Post? When they get there and start making money in America, they're going to wire the money back to El Salvador. Some of these people are gang affiliated. A lot of these people also have been previously deported. And that's been mm -hmm. confirmed. So if they're really that upset about the conditions in their country, instead of marching up north to America, march against your own corrupt government. That would solve a lot of problems, in my opinion. 
And then here, Juan, of course, we're two weeks away from the midterms, two weeks today. So somebody like a Joe Donnelly and a Claire McCaskill, two red state Democrats that are running for re-election, they know that for the next 13 days if this, that the Republican candidates are going to be using this issue and it's not good for them in their campaigns. No, because anytime you use fear-mongering, I think it really pushes a button. And I think the president and the Republicans right now, absent a message for the midterms, have decided this is the button to push. Uh, I read today where Stephen King, the horror film, horror book writer, said, you know, that the, the Republican campaign theme here is be afraid. Don't be brave. Be afraid. And therefore, even today, the president who suggested, oh, guess what? There could be Middle Eastern terrorists among these people. They're all gang members. Today, he said, well, we don't have proof, but they could be, couldn't be. That's it, the point. That's all have, he does. Don't have a he just pushes. He just pushes the fear button when he doesn't have anything else to say. And to me, what's incredible is my Republican friends buy this stale bread of hatred because it is so. So the president even goes wow. farther. He says, I'm a nationalist last mm -hmm. night. You know what? These globalists want to come in here and take over. Nationalists, where we've heard that from? White nationalists. Steve Bannon, that whole line. We're all racist. So horrible, <laughs> so intentionally divisive. Oh, these brown Don't hordes are Don't you think it's divisive to call your this fellow really Republicans? Your sons are Republicans. Listen, I'm You're telling calling you, Republicans racist. No, I'm sure. calling this action by this president, given the divisive nature of it, intentionally what so should he make a couple should he, should he just not do nothing should he just do nothing no because remember we've had things like the mario boat lift if you think back to 1980. yeah that wasn't a very good thing right but guess what well how did america react Dana? think about how we reacted in terms of we are even, generous even if immigrants. you think about the jewish exodus you think about irish people coming to this country as a result of famine you comparing this every to that moment there were people on the right. far right who react oh stop them stop those jews from it, coming in here why is that the way we're going to be? That, is that you, do you, Emily Ella? Do you think that that is that this is comparable? Um. No, and I also want to, I want to point out two things here. Number one, that this humanitarian crisis pre-existed this caravan. Correct. And to me, the mixed messaging and the hypocrisy is coming from the left, who are ignoring the fact that 16 journalists were killed this year alone in Mexico, and all of the attention is on Khashoggi, or the 600 migrants that, migrants that were found dead in Texas because of the chokehold the cartels have on not only those uh, governments south of us, but also those people, including the fact that an entire uh, police office was arrested for corruption in Jalisco. So this, the border security is a small portion of the absolute crisis that is going down south, and the humanitarian crisis aspect of it is because of the porous border and the lack of the laws that we have to keep strong. And then secondly, about that, about the military and about those military comments, viewers need to understand that the National Guard comes under state authority, obviously, with federal funds. The president can federalize them. Active duty military, the, the exception to the Posse Comitatus Act is the fact that if active duty military is in a support, not in law enforcement role, then that's how that right. is legal. So that the conflating of the issues and the hyperbole from the left of saying that they're going to start shooting people is absolutely offensive and totally incorrect. Emily, I just, I just wanted to pick up on something you said. Yeah. We disagree, obviously. I feel so passionately about this. I just think this is... But we you know, feel this is very we just this, like a big joke, this is low ball <laughs> politics, but something you said so important. This is a humanitarian crisis predates this and people should think of it in those terms, because I think that conservatives historically have been empathetic, compassionate people, not like what this president is doing. Well, I, mean, I got to address some of the things that you've just said. Sarah Carter, one of your colleagues here at Fox News, went down there. Actually, you're not there. She's down there. She's yeah. a colleague, spoke to Guatemalan intelligence and interviewed people in the caravan and has confirmed that there's MS-13 affiliated <laughs> gang members <laughs> among the caravan. Yeah, right. If you're going to sit there and call your colleague a liar I'm while you're sitting on your tush in a nice air conditioned studio you know, in Manhattan, I really think that's unbecoming. Second I think of all, that's, I think you that's have not cheap, said what to do with the truth. what are you what are you going to do about the caravan Juan? Well, oh, you I have you no what? plans That's to do anything true. about it. Are you can you add anything Let you want to add some of substance to what to do with this sure. 7000 you, strong migration coming up north? Do you what want are you an answer? Do? I think that it's very clear given that Republicans control the White House Enough the Senate, the Republicans. And, what are you going to do when it comes to the border Why don't they fix 
the immigration system that's so badly broken Fix in our country. the immigration country. system. Yes. Everything that okay. invites these no. immigrants up Secondly, here is because of Democrat uh, policies. Oh, there we Catch go. Blame Luis, Democrats. The Feinstein memo. Oh, all these and the Democrats other thing are in the charge. Trump administration. This okay. is what attracts is, these people, This Juan, is low-ball politics, and you are on message for President Trump. Although what? today he said he has no proof. So you maybe you're even further right the election Trump. integrity. But yeah. you don't want to protect the integrity oh, of the border. Oh, my gosh. If these were Russians coming across, you'd oh, yeah. probably build the wall. Oh, and so these people are coming with guns. <laughs> They're hordes coming now. They're going to take over America. No one's yeah. taking yeah. over anything, yeah. Juan. Yeah. According to Juan's logic, Mexico is also racist because they're trying to limit the immigration as well. They're sending troops to their border. So clearly the Mexicans are racist too, Juan. <laughs> oh, Everybody's no. racist you if they don't so, agree with you. You are so if, obsessed if you just, if anybody with disagrees ridiculous with you, arguments you are to try obsessed to with race. That's no, your problem. Oh, me. Oh, you. Your filter I is think, nothing but race. Yeah, I think you have a difficulty acknowledging where there's racial injustice and where someone is using a racial pitch to stir his base in order to try to That's do better. That's your filter, Just trying to protect the borders, Juan. Okay. That's not racist. <laughs>